All right, there we go. Recording is started. Players in Q8. Oh, that's right. All the all the all the furries are at FWA. Uh, in your room while I sleep. Yes, he is. So basically, like you know how the how my current living situation is is I am in a house. I rent the entire basically the entire downstairs. And um, he gets kind of free reign of that. So there's a giant living room. There's a huge living room. There's my room where I sleep and where I stream. Um, and then there's like the bathroom and stuff like that. So he gets kind of free reign to just trot trot around wherever. So if he would like to be in the same room with me, I don't stop him. Forgot my pat. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> You got th you got this, Poji. That's why I just leave the game open. <laughs> Shiza. Shiza indeed. Let's fire up New Game Plus. Vera, oh my god, that's mean. <laughs> oh, so I'm not the only one who's done that before? I have always I have also done that. Faulty Vi, hello, welcome on in. Nice to see you, Bean. How's your weekend going? Thank you so much for the sippy. It's hot. It is, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have to go back to the Intercessory? Yes, I do. Okay. I guess I'll meet everybody here. Let me get uh, some folks invited. There's Arofa. Hello. Invite to party. Invite to party. There's Lysander. Lysander, do you want, do you want an invite also? I'm sorry, it'll be a minute. No worries. Oop, cannot locate a character with that name. Hmm. Weird. Whenever I try to invite you... Oh, maybe you're not on Adamantois. Let me do this again. <clears throat> While we wait for Poji, everyone go foob. I have already foobed. Gosh, I love foob. You're on X on Excalibur. I'm on Adamantois. Yeah. I thought, I thought you were coming to. Yeah, you, you gotta. If you wanna, if you wanna play with us, you're probably gonna have to come over to Excalibur. Oh, okay. No worries. You foobed, but did you boob? Look, Vera. Look at me. Look at me. 
Just look at me. Yes, I fo yes I boobed. I I'm always boobing. My dog is currently hunting. There's like a, there's a there's an there's an eldritch fly that made it into the house. That's basically the size of a spaghettios meatball. It's just kind of hum hum drumming around the room. And uh, I have no, I have no time to take care of it until after stream. But I think my uh, my dog my doggo might be on the job. <laughs> Breasting boobily indeed. So we're currently. I think my goofy hat, my goofy hat, I think I'm going to wear for like duties and dungeons and stuff like that. Because I kind of like, I kind of like the way though, I kind of like the way my character looks without any headgear. I am sorry, but I'm here now. No worries, Poji. No worries. You are good. All right, let me refresh. There's Poji. Perfect. Getting on Excalibur, alrighty. I bet there might. I bet <laughs> pointing at me. Yes, I know. I know. I don't have my hat on. Sorry, Sorette. <laughs> As soon as I can get Lysander's invite out, I will... There we go. I will proceed. There we go. Perfect. Greetings, madam. Shall I show you inside? Yes. Here we go. The dawn's light will shine again. And say hello to Alphano's new VA. So long as we have these specious accusations hanging over us, we will struggle to achieve anything. You must go to Ishgard, as Tataru proposed. I will return to Uldar and set things right. Pray, do not be so hasty, Master Elfino. Finally, I don't feel weird hearing his voice, right? Lord Orchifon. Full well do I understand your desire to clear your names. But now is not the time for drastic action. You yet have allies upon whom you can rely. There is no need to act alone. Yes. Yes, of course. Pray forgive my impatience. I bring tidings. Count Edmont has decreed that the three of you be taken in as wards of House Fortan. Under our patronage, you shall be granted access to the city proper. 
pray, consider our manor your new headquarters, from which you may gather information and plan how best to proceed. Needless to say, should any of your missing allies be found, as I am certain they shall, they will of course be welcome to join you there. You are more than generous, my friend. On behalf of my fellows, I humbly accept your offer of hospitality. The Count is a good man and just. He will treat you with the kindness and respect that a hero and dear friend deserves. To Ishgard, then. Together. There we shall carry on the Scion's legacy. There we shall begin anew. Here, here. She's not silent. Some music changed, though. I must go on ahead and speak with the Count. Fear not, however, for everything has been arranged. The sentries at the gates of judgment have been informed of our decision. You need but state your name, and they will allow you to pass. Smallest Waffle, hello, welcome on in. Hey all, just got in. Why all the long faces? Oh, <laughs> uh, because we were just talking with uh, Lord Horse... Lord uh, Horseface. Get it? Get it? Horses, long faces. I'll show myself out. So now that he is a new voice, by comparison, uh, his old voice sounded weirdly pretentious. Yeah. I think... I think Alphano's voice now kind of better reflects how young he is. Horse font. Lord Horseradish, I see, yes. That's the pocket version. <laughs> Horsey fart. <laughs> Oh, he's a friend, though. I'll, I'll be nice. My manservant... Manservant... ...shall be waiting for you at the city gates, ready to escort you to our manor, where we shall meet again. Until then. I mean, elves, am I right? <laughs> All right, let's do it. New power, what? Hell yeah, nice. Ooh, that looks like a shield. Oh, wow, okay. I just healed. Neat. That is really cool. Okay, so there there also may be a surprise. Maybe a surprise once we make it into Ishgard that uh that y'all might y'all might not like. Uh, you'll, di you'll discover soon enough. Wards of House Forton? Ah, yes, you may pass. So they came, at a friend's behest. Heroes once celebrated as saviors of Eorzea, brought low through treachery, their names blackened 
with royal blood. With memories of the lost and dreams of redemption, with hope yet in their hearts, they came. Elfie finally put on cold weather clothes. Yep. No more bikini. To Ishgard, shining city on the mount, overlooking the dominion of Curthus. A great and proud nation, devoted to Helone, the Fury, ruled by Thordin the Seventh. Archbishop of the Ishgardian Orthodox Church. The last bastion of the faith, her walls ever bristling with the sworn swords and spears of her four high houses. A land that after a thousand years of war had forgotten what it was to be at peace. Through gates long closed, the warrior of light and her companions passed, entering at last a city whose history was written in blood. In the midst of the Dragon Song War, they came, three weary travelers whose arrival would set in motion great change. Though none knew then how great. From the memoirs of Count Edmont de Forton, Heavensward. Hell yeah. Greetings, Mistress Squeegee. Mistress Squeegee. I've, I'm home. <laughs> On behalf of House Fogton, I bid you welcome to Ishgard. My lord humbly requests your presence at his residence in the Pillars. If you all would come with me. I think I think Soret already knows where to go. <laughs> I forgot though. <laughs> I totally forgot. No, I'm just attuning. Okay. I think we have to go this way. I will go where I need to be, uh, but I'm going to take a few minutes and let y'all uh, attune with stuff that you can for right now.
I love, the, I love, love, love the night theme in Ishgard. Like all of the Ishgard music is amazing. Actually, I'll turn cinema mode off for right now. I forgot. I remember. here. I'll wait for y'all for right now. I have some new weapons for the ninja and reaper classes. Yay! Hell yeah, those are cool. waiting for friendos to get their uh to get their attuning with the aetherites around the city it should only be a few minutes i don't th i don't think there's that many Ooh, pet pets there we go what do you think There's 27, I said like a liar. There's nine, I think. <laughs> that is a sweet scythe. Dang. That reminds me, I gotta start working on my relic stuff for ARR. Oop, it's been a while since I've, I've gotten a Furby redeem. Let's go. You haven't reborn your relics? Nope. I has not. All right, there's Surrettes. I know Poji's around here somewhere. Where the Poji? Where the what the Dirk doing? What the Dirk doing? Benyon, hello, welcome on in. There's the Durgo. I still need to do the Arai Ar Ar Salvages Grand Company Leave Quest. Hmm. I don't even know what I have to do. <laughs> and there's Vera. Am I hearing that right? I don't remember what instrument what instrument is that? Um It's a sitar. I thought I heard a sitar. I think I think they added some music that I have not heard before. 
I'm going to get it started. Oh, I love this theme so much. A warrior of light and her brave companions. Walking the streets of Ishgard at last. What a glorious sight. I cannot tell you how long I have waited for this day. Allow me to present you my family home, Fortal Manor. I should like nothing more than to show you around, but everyone is gathered to receive you. Come, my friends, introductions must be made. Thank you, Ryu. My lord, I have returned with the Scions. I hope your journey was not too taxing. I, Count Edmond de Fortom, do bid you welcome. As wards of House Fortom, you shall be afforded every courtesy. My home is your home. My companions and I are deeply honored, Count Fortin. The honor is mine, Master Alfino. Consider it an expression of our gratitude for your service to Ishgard. Forgive me, my lord, but are you not concerned? To accept foreign guests at such a juncture, especially ones with our reputation, Oh, one second. I forgot to do a thing. One sec. There we go. Do not worry yourself on my account. Tis true that Ishgard's first thought has ever been the war effort, hence the closing of our borders. Yet it is in troubled times most of all that men should seek allies. Don't you think? Granted, my decision will have raised eyebrows in the vault and in the halls of the other high houses. But so long as you continue with your altruistic endeavors, I doubt my honored peers will feel moved to voice their concerns. Then there is naught to fear. Though our numbers are much reduced, we are no less determined to carry on our work. Full glad am I to hear it. Uh, but before you return to your labors, why not take a tour of the city? You would do well, I think, to acquaint yourselves with your new surroundings. After all, you may be here for some time. Perfect. Though our friends in House Forton have been generous enough to extend us their protection, we must take care not to impose too much on their hospitality. It is only proper that we learn about our new home, so that we might become more self-sufficient. It'll take a while to learn the lay of the land, but learn it we must. Then there's the markets and taverns. We'll need to know where to shop and where to hear small talk. To would seem a tour of the city is indeed in order. New quest complete sound, yeah. To fit with the theme. I thank you for your counsel, my lord. My, companion, my companions and I shall of course do as you suggest. Very good. Then my manservant shall accompany you. He will be able to answer any questions you might have. Ah, but I grow forgetful in my dotage. There is something I must give you ere we part. Their documentation is in order, I trust. Yes, my lord. Hmm. 
Ah, <laughs> uh, my passport. <laughs> Those documents identify you as wards of House Fortone. Given that our borders have remained closed for decades, many of my countrymen are unaccustomed to treating with foreigners. Should anyone happen to question your presence here, it may prove necessary to remind them that you remain under the protection of House Fortone. But let us hope it shall not come to that. Rest assured that we do our utmost to avoid any situation which might compel us to invoke your name. Adi, Tataru, the city awaits. Let's go. Now I won't be blocked by security in Black Mesa. <laughs> yep. You know what I find interesting? What is that, Poji? Kamui! Hello, Kim. How are you doing? Nice to see you, Bean. Doing good rebranding all my stuff. What? Rebranding? A big part of the story in Ulda was them dealing with Alamegan refugees, and how much of the city didn't want them there. Now here we are, refugees in a land notorious for not accepting outsiders, yeah. Ironic that we that we are the ref that we are the refugees. It's very interesting. I got something really cool coming up, and I'm excited to show it off sometime once I'm done. Hell yeah! Trick up, slut. Nice. Leka, how you doing? Welcome on in. Alrighty, I'm about to start reading again, so if we could, uh, if we could, if we could, if we could tone down some of the, uh, the stuff going on, it is very loud in my ears. Thank you. Sorry, are you? <laughs> Just kidding. Thank you, Lysander. As this is your first time in our fair city, pray permit me to show you to the hop Hoplon, from whence we may gaze upon the splendor of the Holy Vault. Though all other sights pale in comparison, tis only, tis only meet that you see it first. I shall then show you around the jeweled crozier, where you may purchase all manner of goods and services. That's still really loud in my ears. Before before descending to Foundation's Aetherite Plaza, if there are no questions. Yeah, and also, you know, no worries. Like, you know, when I'm at a spot where I need to read, um, y'all can, like, you know, do whatever you want to do, like, you know, in between those times. Um, and if you want to, like, you know, swing swords around and, like, you know, do a bunch of that stuff, um, if you could, as a favor, uh, kind of, like, you know, pop off into the distance, maybe out of earshot or something like that. It's just, it's just one of those things where, yeah. See, if I turn off those sounds, there's a bunch of stuff that I end up missing, so. Oh, yep. There's that Sitsar again. Oh my gosh. Did it not think? No worries. It is all good. Should be you, you be talking to extras? Probably. A Hoplon. So named for the bronze great shield borne by our nation's patron deity is the largest plaza in Ishgard. 
The magnificent cathedral to the north is, of course, the Holy Vault. The vault is both Ishgard's seat of government and the residence of the Archbishop of the Ishgardian Orthodox Church. Begging your pardon, the statues to the south, are they perchance Thordon's famed Knights Twelve? Very good, Master Alphano. They are the fathers of Ishgard, the brave knights who joined with King Thordon I to put down Nidhogg and found, founded this great nation. Ours is a city rich in history and tradition, and there is much you can learn by exploring the pillars, time permitting, of course. Now then, if you would follow me to the Jeweled Crozier, I shall introduce you to Mistress Elise, our Master of the Markets. Yeah, this is a very religious nation. Like, church and state are the same thing. Oops. It's called the direct route, right? Breaking our legs. Yeah, there we go. Well, you're clearly not locals or traveling peddlers, which makes you all... Winslow and Fashimi here are here. Nice. Uh, Wards of House Fortal. How very interesting. Count Edmont has granted us leave to remain in Ishgard for as long as we wish, which may be some time. Accordingly, we will have need of sundry goods, hence our desire to make your acquaintance. That is, of course, assuming you are content to accept the custom of foreigners. Should you be uncomfortable... Young sir, we do not discriminate in matters of money. If you have a coin to spend, who are we to refuse it? How's Alphano not getting cold with his side exposed like that? Is he back in his bikini again? God damn it, Alphano. Weapons, armor, accoutrement, medicine, material. Whatever you desire, it can be found in the Crozier. Our merchants will be more than happy to accommodate you as you sh sh as you shall soon see. Wars in winter close only for the bridge, apparently. Our next destination is the Etherite Plaza in Foundation, if everyone is ready. I'm going to TP. I'm still wondering where the part we won't like Adi mentioned is. I think that's going to be more outside of the city. I think we'll see the stream. We'll see. And here we have Foundation's Etherite Plaza. If you have yet to attune to the Etherite, I would it would be wise to do so now. Miyako, welcome on in. Nice to see you. And let me get uh let me get our friends in here. And Winslow, we got Winslow too. Perfect. to 
Kitaru. As for our next destination, mayhap we should decide together? What else can be found nearby? Twilight, welcome on in. The Sky Steel Manufactory stands to the west. There, our engineers conceive and manufacture weapons for us against the dragons. The holy stables where chocobos are trained for war also lie in that direction. Malik, Malik, thank you so much for the for, for the heckin' prime resub. Six months, let's go. Malik, welcome on in. How is your day going so far? We just started Heaven's Word. To the north and east can be found the congregation of our knights. Our congregation of our knights most heavenly. While to the south and east, well, it would be best if you avoided that area. And why is that? I... I fear our knights may not be able to ensure your safety in the lowest levels, Master Alphano. Hold your nose when you pass the broom, little lord. A delicate flower like you is like to wilt in our fumes. <laughs> uh oh, stinky, wow. You misjudge me, sir, for I am no lord but a humble traveler. Andy, welcome on in. Oh, come to see the sights, have you? Take a turn down the hoplon and gawp at the statues. <laughs> well, if you have a mind to learn how the better half live, come and have a drink at the Forgotten Night, if your nursemaid will let you. Oh, bean time, let's go. My humblest apologies, Master Alphano. Pray pay that drunken lout no mind. Oh, but I must. It would not do to refuse such a heartfelt invitation. Yes, I simply must see this forgotten knight for myself. Narrating as a bean funnier. <laughs> I trust you see the wisdom in this, Adi. There are few sources of information more abundant than a bustling local hostelry. Not that I expect to hear any news of our com missing comrades just yet. Nevertheless, who can say what we might learn of recent events? Then I'm coming too! Miss, uh, I need to verify that you were 21 and over. Welcome back, Poji. <laughs> Are you old enough to be here? Yep. All right, so let's see. Where do we need to go? This way. I think we need to go down the stairs. Not down that way, though. Not here. I fucked up. What the shit?
I still get lost in the section of town, yeah. I'm being dumb. Oh, that's right, it's right here. Andy, thank you so much for giving Malik a shout out. Here we go. Here's the gentleman I need to talk to. Good night, Jerry Garcia. Have a good night. Must say, this is rather unusual. Not just one, but a whole party of fresh new faces in my tavern. We but recently arrived in Ishgard and are eager to acquaint ourselves with her more notable establishments, Master... Gibralant. Just Gibralant will do. And I'm flattered you think so highly of my establishment. Can't promise it'll live up to your expectations, but if it's decent food and drink you're after, you could do much worse. Judging by the number of customers I see, I suspect your fare is rather more than decent. Speaking of your clientele, I could not help but note a difference between those who frequent the upper and lower floors. Spotted that, did you? Aye. Up here you'll find peddlers, porters, off-duty knights, and so forth. Dropping in on their way to or from somewhere else. Regulars, maybe, but not locals. Folks from the broom, they tend to congregate downstairs, where we offer a menu more suited to their tastes. Cheaper meals, stronger spirits, all quality mind, but not the sort of stuff I'd recommend to yourselves. You speak of the lowest levels, yes? Why do they call them the broom, if I may ask? Because when the weather's foul and the broom rolls in thick, it's the poor sods living in the bottom who have to deal with it. I see. And it's not just the weather. When the wyverns broke through the wards and started tearing up the city, it was the broom that got the worst of it. While the pillars enjoyed protection of the high houses and the temple knights. More than a few folks still sore about that, mind, which is why, considering your present company, I'd recommend you keep your wits about you if you mean to go below. And something sharp in your boot, just to be sure. I shall take your words to heart, sir. Master Alphano, I think it would be best if we returned to Fort Hall Manor. You go, on, you go on ahead without me. I'm staying for a drink or two. I'm getting Windhelm vibes from this place. Big stone city in a wintry, icy place. Strong focus on religion with a rather notable ghetto. Yeah. Hmm. Well, Miss Tataru, I'm afraid that is out of the question. My lord, the count, would never forgive me if I abandoned one of his charges in such a place. Least of all, a maiden. What are you up to, Tataru? Denji, welcome on in. Look around, Alphano. This tavern is full of people whose business regularly takes them beyond the gates of judgment. With friends like that, I could practically live here and wait for the newest gossip to come to me. Indeed, but will you be safe here on your own? Oh, please, do you know how often I looked after the Waking Sands and the Rising Stones by myself? If I had a guild for every unwelcome caller I'd driven away, I'd be rich beyond my wildest dreams. I'll be fine. Not that I doubt the lady's knack for fending off unwanted advances, but I'll be damned if I'm going to let anyone lay an unwelcome hand on a patron in my establishment. That settles it then, Tataru. Adi and I shall return to the manor for now. Contact me by Link Pearl if you have if you require any assistance. I will. Hell yeah. 
And Vera's sitting on the counter looking like a snack. There we go. I have a blue quest here, something about clan hunts. Oh, if you need to pick it up, by all means. Excuse you. <laughs> hey, look, you were you were uh, you were commenting on my boobs earlier, so you know it's only fair. A lady this big gourmet meal. <laughs> you know that's fair. <laughs> Turnabout is fair play. I wish the booba slider was longer. Me too. My booba is uh, is maxed out right now in Final Fantasy XIV. All right. The boob maxing. Yes, we're when we're we're min maxing the booba. Fortal Manor. That is in the pillars, I believe. Which is the last vigil. <laughs> Welcome, Mistress Squeegee. Shall I show you inside the manor? Yeah. Mr. Squeegee, that is me. Tell us then, Master Alphano, does Ishgard meet with your expectations? That which I imagine pales in comparison to the reality. I felt the weight of a thousand years of history with every step I took. And when those steps took me past the scars left by the wy wyverns in Foundation, I, under I understood how easily that history could end in tragedy. The attack was devastating, the casualties unspeakable. The wyverns did not discriminate. Unarmed men and women, even children, were given no quarter. Sir Amaric has ordered his knights to strengthen our defenses, and each house has been called upon to lend what support it can. There is much to be done, yet, alas, able-bodied men and women are in short supply. Mayhap we could be of assistance, my lord? After all you have done for us, we would welcome any opportunity to repay your kindness. That is... A most generous offer, Master Alphano. You are guests in my home, to whom I have extended my hospitality without obligation, let or lean. Nevertheless, Ishgard's need is great, and if you are willing to aid our cause, I cannot well refuse. Good. What would you ask, ask of us? From what I have heard, you are an intelligent and persuasive young man. Such qualities may prove most useful to us in our efforts to secure provisions from foreign sources, identifying trustworthy suppliers, brokering contracts, and so on. As for you, Mr. Squeegee, I could ask for no better than a storied veteran such as yourself, a woman with the capacity to act swiftly and decisively when needed to aid Artoirel and Amenelaine in their duties. I beg your pardon? I am more than capable of carrying out my duty by myself. I have no need of our honored guest's assistance. Now, now, be reasonable, brother. What manner of fool would say no when a famous hero offered to do his work? Hold your tongues. By the fury, the two of you will conduct yourselves with dignity befitting your station and show Mistress Squeegee the respect she deserves. This is the woman who slew Gaius von Belsar and some half dozen primals besides. She is not here to steal your glory or serve as your errand girl. If 
if you can pardon them from their impropriety, Mr. Squeegee, I should be much obliged if you would lend my sons a helping hand. My thanks. Fury willing, they may even learn something from you. Oh. <laughs> Archwarel is just... He's a douche. And a Manalane, I like a Manalane. So, uh, where do they sleep? I see only one room in this house. <laughs> hmm. We sleep on the floor. See this big carpet? That's where we sleep. It would seem we shall not want for employment over the coming days. Though that was never in doubt. Our host's initial reluctance to accept our offer of aid was solely for appearance's sake. In truth, he is glad of this opportunity to put us to work. By granting us patronage, House Fortan has taken a tremendous risk. Until we demonstrate our worth in Ishgard at large, the Count will face considerable opposition from his peers in matters great and small. Yeah, see all those doors? Those are all Murphy beds. And so he will have us publicly serve Ishgard, whilst simultaneously keeping his sons in check. It is an arrangement we may benefit from in unexpected ways. My own duties may feas feasibly bring me into contact with people who know something of our missing comrades. And as you go about helping our two lords with their various responsibilities, you will inevitably make new acquaintances in Ishgard may have even new allies. Yes, the more I think of it, the more confident I am that by furthering their goals, we shall further our own. Perfect. Stairs are a conspiracy. You're a compa <laughs> Nice. Shall we be off then, old girl? Ah, uh, but where are my manners? Emmanuelaine de Forton, second son of Count Edmont de Forton, trueborn, that is. Yes, yes, I know what you're thinking, and you are absolutely right. What ill fortune to be born second in a society where eldest inherits all. Oh, my brother would never cut me off. Tis true. But who could be satisfied subsisting on a meager allowance, forever overshadowed, overshadowed by his sibling? Not I, old girl, not I. Which is why I need your help to ensure that this business in the Sea of Clouds goes swimmingly, so that the tales of my great deeds can win me a place in the people's hearts, or better yet, raise me higher in their estimations than Artoirel. Ambitious, I grant you, but then I do have a legendary hero to do my bidding. <laughs> I was directed to the other brother? What? Uh, maybe I can pick up both quests. Give me a second. Oh, don't look at me that way. I just, I just. Anyway, we are to aid the good men and women of House Hellionart. They have ever been steadfast friends to our house, though they have fallen on hard times since the calamity, poor blighters. As for what precisely we have been doing, well, what fun would it be if I told you everything in advance? Just come along with me to the airship landing. We'll need to take the airship to Camp Cloudtop. Oop, pet pets. Oop, there we go. Oh. Oh. Hmm.
I can only do one at a time, yeah. Yeah, Ryu, because, like, yeah, this is your second time through, but you did a new character. I see how that is. Okay, at least we can do these at the same time. I think it's just for New Game Plus that you can't do both, yeah. Well, we might, we might, we might as well get Sea of Clouds out of the way. Can you abandon the other quest? I don't think so. Nope, I cannot. It is time. All right. Let us make haste. So we're get, we're going to Cam Cloud Top, huh? All right. I need to go to the airship landing. Okay, there's the landing. We have to go to Athenium Astrologicum. Are you ready to depart, madam? The airship bound for Clamp Camp Cloud Top will be leaving shortly. Upon an airship, conceived within the fecund mind of Sid Garland, renegade prodigy of Garlemald, who had come to call Eorzea home. High into the heavens, where isles of earth and stone floated as clouds, a frontier the knights of Ishgard had scarce begun to explore. To a fledgling outpost, within the sea of clouds, where careworn scouts ever scanned the skies for winged shadows, she came. Awfully cold up here. I mean, Kurthus may not be blessed with the warmest weather in the world, but compared to this, it seems positively balmy. And of course, our hero is wholly unperturbed. You don't have to maintain that strong, silent persona all the time, you know. Never mind. We need to find Lady Laniette. She is in charge of the garrison here. Oh, and when we find her, just, just follow my lead, yes? Excellent.
There's an aetherite here. Don't forget to, uh... Don't forget to attune. OG VTuber time. Thank you, Twilight. There we go. Mine, 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 mine. Down to one HP. Berry Oisen House. I honestly, I have the biggest urge to create a character named Berry Oisen House. You can't? Why, why is that? Don't tell me what I can and can't do. Silver Zorua? Silver, thank you so heckin' much for the raid. Welcome on in. Silver, how was your heckin' stream? Pim the Plush, hello, welcome on in. Pamder Bear? Gosh, I love Pamder Bear. Welcome on in. Nervious Deer, hello, welcome. Holy heck, Silver Raid, hell yeah. How are we all doing tonight? How was, how was your heckin' stream? Welcome on in, Raiders. So, Silver, tell me all about your stream, but before you do, before you do, get your self-care stuff going on. Get yourself a heckin' snack. Get yourself some heckin' water and a blanket. Get cozy. And welcome, Raiders. My name is Adi. I'm a trans furry gamer from Oregon, and I mainly play RPG games. Tonight, we are heckin' playing Final Fantasy XIV. We literally just started. We just started Heaven's Word tonight. After, uh, after completing A Realm Reborn last night. How was Metroid Zero Mission? All right. And here's the part I always forget. So, y'all, um... If you could do me a huge favor, uh, in the lower left-hand corner of, uh, not this window, but it's like a, it's my, my little picture with the little live symbol there next to Adi Plays. If you could click that twice, click it once and then click it again where you find it on the next page, that's how you would actually become a viewer in the stream. And, you know, if you're counted, it helps me keep track of stuff a little bit better. And heckin' welcome on in, folks. Uh, one, one thing I do have to remind everyone, if y'all have been through Final Fantasy XIV uh, and have been through the Heaven, Heaven's Word expansion, please, 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 no spoilers. Uh, we have several brand new folks to the game uh, with us, and uh, I would hate for them to uh, have the story spoiled. So It's also very exciting and super new to some folks here. So yeah, please, 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 please keep that stuff to yourself. You can also click this. Yes. Thank you so much, Andy. Remove the refer raid in the URL or double click Adi's name below the stream. Yeah, there you go. Never been in a place like this before. I'm very excited. Hell yeah. Heaven's Word is so much fun. Y'all are going to love it. Yeah. I've been through it once and like uh, it has been a long time. I'm like literally having the time of my life right now. <laughs> but thank you so much for coming on in, y'all. Uh, the community here, we're pretty chill, laid back. We're all friends. If that sounds like your jam, please feel free. Kick up your feet and relax. Enjoy the show. You can chat. You can lurk. You can even leave a follow if you would like, although it's not required. But heck, regardless of what you do, you're heckin' welcome here and you're valid. Earlier message for stream recrap. Hell yeah. But yeah, Zero Mission was great. Uh, just got our power bombs. Played that after we did some Stardew Valley earlier. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Stardew, I've watched several people play it, and I haven't played it myself. I really need to change that at some point. And Zero Mission, I haven't even touched. Holy heck. Uh, Tale of Frost and Shadow, thank you so heckin' much for the lurk. 
too late. I'm going to spoil a lot. Chicken thawing on the counter, yogurt in the sun, and the one fruit stayed in the fruit bowl for too long. Oh, no. By the way, thank you for the recommendation to check out Ribbon's stream, Adi. I am stupid and didn't realize they were live. Oh, no. I figured you, I figured you were lurking or something like that. But glad I could help. Oop, ear wiggles. Let's go. And some free butt wiggles, too. Can't forget that. At least you didn't put the milk out. That's true. You do. Stardust, Stardew is such a wonderful game, and having a chill... Chill vibes alone or with friends. Hell yeah. You say butt wiggles. <laughs> All right. Here's Lania... Len... Lenayet... 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 That's what I'm going to say. Mr. Squeegee, welcome. I am Sir Lanayet de Hellionart, commander of the forces stationed here at Camp Cloudtop. Strange though it may sound, I have long dreamed of meeting you. I am in your debt, you see, and shall ever remain so. Were it not for you, my younger brother, my younger brother Frankel, oh my god, Frankel, would have been executed upon the word of a false inquisitor. Yeah, that's right, Inquisitor Salami. Yeah, that's because, that's because that's Lenny face. I get it. I see what you did there. Alas, a knight must go where duty demands, and thus I have been unable to seek you out. But by the grace of Helone, I have been granted an opportunity to thank my brother's savior in person, and to call upon her generous aid besides. Truly, I know not what I have done to deserve this double blessing. Well, I think it's probably because you're a cutie, by the way. Was in the middle of typing this. Held out until post-raid. If anyone else can create a Barry Oisenhouse character, I deem it to be Audi Bean. <laughs> hell yeah. Hell, hell yeah. It's either that or I could just create Vegetal Oisen Manor. <laughs> it is a pleasure to see you again, my lady Lania. You cut an elegant figure as always. A steel-clad rose equally at home on the battlefield or in a ballroom. <laughs> Vegetal! What does a scouter say about his item level? It's over 9,000! What race and class would a berry oisen would a berry oisen house? I wonder. Hmm. I think Lalafell. Lalafell. Hmm. Pumpkin time. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ribbon, welcome on in. Could I get a could I get a shout out for ribbon system, please? Lalafell monk, maybe. I was kind of thinking Lalafell reaper. Lord Menelane, if it is not too much to ask, I should be grateful if you would allow me to finish speaking with Mistress Squeegee. Camp Cloudtop was established to provide early warning of impending, impending Dravanian incursions. The high elevation afforded by the floating isles makes it ideal for this purpose. Oh, R Ribbon, I feel the same way. I feel the same way in, in those types of circumstances. Naturally, it also makes us a ready target for attack. We are not defenseless, however. The Protector, our largest and most advanced airship, is capable of downing all but the mightiest dragons. Alas, as you may have noticed, it is currently undergoing repair. What is worse, our efforts have been hampered by an indigenous beast tribe known as the Vanu Vanu, with whom we have had several skirmishes already. No beast man is a match for a man of Ishgard. Bring me a birdman and I'll show him a thing or two.
<laughs> How do you mean? I don't play Final Fantasy if that's what you're asking. Maybe you should. I fear much and more may be asked of you in the days to come, Mistress Squeegee. It is what it is. While I understand Count Edmont's intentions, I would rather not waste valuable time ensuring that the young lord doesn't get trampled underfoot. True, it is entirely possible that he may learn something from this experience, but if left to his own devices, I think it far more likely that he will make a mess of things. Tell him. Tell him that I would like him to keep watch for Dravanian outflyers. Then, when you have a moment to speak with with his manservant in private, Make it clear that it is his responsibility to keep a man Elaine from shirking his duty. See, we are learning things about people right now. Koi, thank you so much for the lurk. <laughs> nice, Lysander. Holy heck. Why does it feel like she's sending him to get a spatula with port and starboard attachments? <laughs> hmm? A request from Lani Anat. Uh, 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 Lani. Uh, a request from Lenny? <laughs> Why didn't she think to ask me in person? Surely she must see me standing here but a few yalms aw away. Oh, never mind. What is it? A mission, uh, a mission of paramount importance. Keep watch for Javanian outflyers. A m mission? Y yes, yes, of course. That is why I'm here. I shall do as my lady asks. Big Bad Ardwolf, hello. Welcome on in. Hi, Adi. I don't know how you do it, but every time I get a new chair I need to break in, you're here. <laughs> Hell yeah. He's on a Roy. Ah, Mr. Squeegee, I do not believe I have properly introduced myself. I am on a Roy, and I serve at the pleasure of Lord Amanalane. Lady Lenny would have me accompany Lord Amanalane on his mission. Uh, I understand completely. I will do my utmost to keep him out of harm's way. Heck yeah. Uh, honor roll, nice. Were he of another house, mayhap I would not feel obligated to go to such lengths to preserve his safety and dignity. In any case, I appreciate you speaking to him for me. It would seem he actually listens to you, at least more so than others. Or mayhap you are more skilled at this than most. I, I suspect you have a, had a rumor, had a had to humor your fair share of difficult men before. Now that Amanda Lane is out of harm's way, we are free to discuss matters of actual import, such as our struggles with the Vanu Vanu. We first encountered the Vanu several years ago, when we had just begun to explore the Sea of Clouds. After an exchange of pleasantries and gifts, we received permission to construct a permanent lookout post. There was peace between our peoples for half a year, until suddenly, for reasons unknown, their attitudes toward us changed. They began to attack our foraging parties without provocation, forcing us to rely more heavily on supplies flown in from Ishgard. But words are no substitute for first-hand experience. Go and see Sir Marielle. She could use your assistance.
So here's the here's the, here's the thing. Here's the thing that you y'all are are not gonna like. You can't fly here. You have to earn that. So you can walk and chocobo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I figured. Okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. Here we go. Here's Marielle. Mr. Squeegee, I presume? Lady Lenny told me you were coming. I hear tell you've never faced a Vanu before? Well, spend enough time on patrol and you're sure to cross paths with them eventually. These birdmen are native to the floating isles. I say birdmen, but they're not at all like the Ixl. Unless the Ixl's mother was a Gigas. Here, let me mark several locations on your map. If you discover any Vanu in these areas, kill or drive them away. Our chocobos are not accustomed to the bitter Ishgardian cold. They have to acclimate first. I suspect they'll be used to it eventually. Probably once we've finished the Heaven Was Word story. <laughs> Probably. My bird is slow again, yeah. I'm also still level 90, so I don't wanna I don't wanna one shot. Well, it's attacking me, so. Not really much I could do there. Adi, may I ride your draft chocobo again? Yes. You steal yourself for a mighty struggle, yet find no Vanu lying in wait. Okay. So we'll do the draft. There we go. Back to Mariel. Trick up, slut. Yes. Creatures, thank you so much for the sippy. Oh. 
Coffee is finally done. Gosh, this area is so pretty. I believe the max level was 60. I forget, honestly. Oh, we're not on Vera. We're not. We're not using the draft to go faster. We're just. We're just using the draft because it's a two-seater. Finished with your patrol. Anything to report? But it's not a three-seater, and you still end up waiting. <laughs> Okay. Well, I might, I might, I might end up walking. It's no big deal. Huh. Maybe it was too much to hope for a day without a skirmish. At least I can take solace in the fact that Helone has blessed us with a mighty ally. I'm also very jealous that that Poji gets to ride with you all the time. Uh, the thing is, like, I don't have, uh, I don't have um, a mount that has more than two seats. Maybe I'll work on that. I'm sorry about that, Vera. Accepting your recent clashes with the Vanu, I cannot have escaped your notice that things here are rather peaceful, to the detriment of our garrison's discipline. Despite being built as an observation post, we have yet to record a single intrusion by the Horde. That is why, as far as everyone is concerned, Camp Cloudtop is a backwater of no significance. And of course, the pride of our camp, the vaunted Protector, is in a perpetual state of needing repairs, so even were the Holy See to come under Dravanian attack, we would be unable to fly to their aid. Simply put, Mr. Squeegee, this is where ambitions come to die. If you have aspirations for advancement, you'll be right at home. Well, if you haven't aspirations for advancement. Okay. I'm partly kidding. I just don't want to be left behind. Okay. So, yeah, maybe maybe we should maybe we should skip using the uh, the draft chocobo and just all use like individual individual mounts or individual chocobos. However, I would like to I would like to think that enthusiasm can be just as contagious as apathy. If you'll indulge me, I would have you seek out the sentries and stoke their fighting spirit. Psych them up, you might say. I think I'm probably actually just going to walk. I can't believe out of all the comfy places that my dog could possibly sleep, i.e. my memory foam bed and my comfortable as hell couch, this dog chooses to just be on the floor. How, how is that a thing? Oh, puppy, yeah. I even fixed the doggo cam, and the, ca the dog has not been on the bed at all this stream. Hmm, is there anything fluffier than a cloud? Copy that to the buffer. What do you mean psych does not exist? What? P 
P-S-Y-C-H. That's what I, I... That's what I thought I... Nope! I typed... I had an E. Okay. There we go. Okay. What? What is it? Is it the Horde? By the Fury, whatever possessed you to do that? <laughs> I'm awake, I'm awake, worry not. After the shock you just gave me, I doubt I'll sleep for a fortnight. Nice. By the way, Adi, you said you'd learn things about me in Ribbon's stream. Had I not said I had an official Sona now, you did. You did. But the things I learned, what your Sona looked like, and your fascination with sour cream and onion potato chips, which is valid, and I also share that fascination, so... <laughs> I am passionate about sour cream and onion potato chips. I have... I have feelings for those chips. Where am I supposed to be going here? How in the five fingers of F-U-C-K am I supposed to get there? Oh, I know. It's not even in the... It's, it's over there. I get it. Sour cream and onion potato chips do slap. Was the pointing helping? <laughs> I didn't even see the pointing, maybe. Yes, it was it was it was absolutely instrumental. <sighs> Hello there, old girl. Slain any Vanu champions yet? No? Oh well. Let me know when you have you have so I can make myself presentable for the for the... <sighs> Can I slap instead of psych? <gasps> is it Gosh, a, is I it, love bones. I do love bones. Is it an attack? What should we do? What should we do? You had me fooled there for a moment, old girl. An amusing jest, albeit a tad cruel. Surely you must realize how unsuited I am to the monotony of mere sentry duty. Yet still you tempt me with the promise of excitement. No, this won't do. This won't do at all. Lady Lenny will give me a grand mission as befits my station. Alright, more psyching. Don't mind me while I go buy some dyes. Ah, no worries. Oh, that one is far. I'm getting on my chocobo for this one. The music here is rather chilly. Yeah, cheery. Yes, it is. I rather like it. There he is. Interesting that the map is not fully present at first. We have to explore it and uncover it all, yeah. You're looking rather grim. Why so serious? The Vanu are no real threat, and the Dravanians couldn't give a fig about us. Gosh, I love figs. Ooh, Surrette got to 57. Nice. Have to go get some sleep. Good tidings, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful time and restful sleep. Thank you so much for popping in and hanging out with us. Good night, Twilight. Ye gods, where did that come from? Fine, if you insist, I will make an effort to be more alert. But really, I fail to see the point. We're hundreds of moms away from the front lines, which is just the way I like it. Thank you very much.
Many thanks, Mr. Squeegee. Already I can see a change in our sentry's behavior. Beg your pardon. Lord Amenelaine said what? Huh. Well, I have no doubt that Lady Lenny will do her utmost to oblige him. Poor Amenelaine. Gosh. If Lord Amenelaine is going to demand a more dangerous duty, then I expect Lady Lenny will want you to accompany him. Uh, you might as well speak with her sooner rather than later. There's no use avoiding the inevitable. Uh, one second, folks. Ah, understood. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's down here, actually. Whoop! Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Exclamation point fig. <laughs> Can I get your opinion on a weapon RQ? That looks pretty second. That looks pretty heckin' sweet, not gonna lie. That's Is pretty this a awesome. Burrito? I like that. Hell yeah. Dusk Hellhound, welcome on in. Mistress Squeegee, Lord Amenelaine has just informed me that mere sentry duty is beneath him. I understand we have to you to thank for this epiphany. Uh, we're getting beat up by a bird. <laughs> thank you, Vera. Way to waste a turkey, hell yeah. How's it going on? You're doing pretty heckin' well. What do you think looks better with this outfit? The shiny one. I like that one. Well, there's nothing for it but to get to, but to give him something more demanding. Can I count on you to keep him safe? No, but yes. Excellent. We are in constant need of fresh water at Camp, Cl Camp Cloudtop, as there are no underground sources we can tap with wells. However, there is a unique variety of crystal we have recently discovered which may enable us to obtain water th through other means. These spring crystals can be found in Vorsian Saran, to the east of here. I would have you and Amanalane bring one back to us. You may have to contend with the feral beasts which populate the lakes, not to mention Venu scouts ranging from their nearby settlement. Of course, that all pales in comparison to keeping the young lord entertained, but you have doubtless grown accustomed by that now. Good luck and be safe. Vera, thank you so much for the tier one resub. Three heckin' months, let's go. I will use the draft chocobo, but uh, Vera, do you want to ride with me? I'm talking to him, man. Oh, no worries. I'll wait.
I have to talk to a man too? I'm not talking to him. <laughs> Adi, you, you have to talk to him. <laughs> Do I? Do I? I guess so. <laughs> I love how a bunch of people have to tell me that. <laughs> I'm going to go get food if you don't. Okay, I'm talking to him. If this is the game we're playing. <laughs> hmm? Lady Lenny told you to tell me about my mission once again? If I didn't know any better, I'd swear she's avoiding me. Anyway, what is it? A vital mission, on the success of which the very survival of Camp Cloudtop rests, the procurement of, a po of potable water. Finally, it's about time she entrusted me with a mission of real import. Right then, let's go, let's go. He's a rhombus. <laughs> He's not even a square. <laughs> there we go. I've got... Vera, where did you go? You don't want to ride with me? hit the wrong button and trying to play it cool. Well, you know, how about you stop playing it cool and just get on the back of this big ass bird? There you go. Now it's cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Vera, you're awesome and, tre and a treasure. So this is Vorsian Seren of legend, and nary a Vanu in sight. How disappointing. I could do with some sport. I know. Why don't you and I make it a competition? Whoever finds the superior specimen wins. On a royal shall judge our entries in size, purity, and say aesthetic sensibilities. Let us begin at once. Search for yaddy, spring yaddy, crystal. Yaddy, 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 yaddy. Bonk. I'm assuming I have to kill things in order for this to happen, so. Or not. Where the, f where the, f where in the five fingers of F-U-C-K am I supposed to find these things? Up the ramp, okay. Oh, I see, okay. It's an actual crystal formation, okay. That does make sense. This water crystal does not appear to exhibit the properties described by Lady Lenny. Perhaps you should inspect another. Okay. This one. Ah, uh, okay. There must be more over here then. Gosh, 
course I love mini Midgard Sormer Sam. Lou, welcome on in. How are you doing? Murder is the answer. Maybe someday I'll find a crystal. Could I get a could I get a shout out for a Lou Moon Shadow, please? That would be fantastic. Also, uh, also for Poji, because we haven't shouted out Poji this stream. This crystal appears to be secreting a steady stream of water. Secreting? A steady stream of water. Perhaps it is the spring crystal lady Lenny at seeks. Okay. Perfect. And also, and also since Vera has been streaming lately, which I'm sure she absolutely thought that I forgot to include Vera, but I did not. Yeah, why not? Let's let's do it. Now that we found a water crystal. Vera, I think it was. I'm sorry. It was they. I believe I believe uh, they them is preferred, correct? Or correct me if I'm wrong, please. I want to get that right. He ham. Okay, I got it. Sorry about that. But honestly, I want to confuse people, okay? <laughs> Gosh, I love ham. I do love ham. I want androgynous power, okay. But you, okay, so, but you prefer Gosh, he I him. Body. But you prefer he him? All right. Draft Chocobo. Lend me your strength. I think Vera's ahead of us anyway. Uh, I prefer he, him, but I smile when I hear the wrong words. Okay. I guess that's fair. Blue dot in the springs. That's me. There's four blue dots in the springs. Vera is behind you. No, a piazza is behind me. There's Vera. Vera riding a ghost. Ah, oh, Mr. Squeegee, have you brought your entry for the contest? You identify as Big Booba Energy. I'm glad. My understanding of such things is limited, but can this truly be used to draw moisture from air like water from a pump? Fan fascinating. Lord of Madeleine has been gone for an awfully long time. Did you perchance see him while you were searching for your crystal? Even he must realize, realize the dangers of wandering too far in such a place.
good boy. Fascinating, yep. Mayhap I am worrying about nothing, but I must ask that you assist me in looking for him, Mr. Squeegee. We shall find him more quickly if we split up. Pray search the south the southeastern area of Vorsan Sian. Vorsi Vorsian Saran as Saran Rap. The area of Vor Saran Rap as swiftly as you are able and rendezvous with me in the north. Farewell and good luck. Yeah, give me give me one second, folks. I'll be there in just a second. Four 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 plastic wrap, yeah. Looks like I've got Lysander along for the ride. Yuki, take care. Have a great... <laughs> getting sleepy bitch syndrome. <laughs> Valid. Have a great night. Sleep well. Many gay dreams to you, indeed. Survey the surrounding area for a time, but see no sign of a mental aim. Alright. Don't mind me, I'm just waiting for Vera. Who'd rather ride a ghost? Oh, I see how it is. I see how it is. Let's see, I think I need to go this way. Mr. Squeegee, Lord of Manalane, Lord of Manalane has been taken by the Vanu. Adi, what if Great King Moogle, uh, Great, Great King Moggle Mog is just human and Moggle Transmog? What? They had my lord surrounded, a whole gang of them. Please, you must come quickly. Great King Muggle Mog is just a fursuiter? I don't know. I don't buy it. That just seems kind of weird to me. Uh, 
Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to drop party. The Vanu must have taken him to that village. May have to present to their chieftain. I, I will make haste to Rose House and tell Lady Lady Lenny what has happened. Yet, yet by the time I return with aid, it, it may already be too late. Forgive me for asking, Mr. Squeegee. But should you spy an opportunity to sneak past the sentries and rescue Lord Lamanelaine in my absence, I beg you to take it. I know he can be a trifle presumptuous and insensitive and, well, insufferable, but he doesn't deserve this. Okay, so... My opportunity is brute force. the hell I need to go. And leave corpses in your wake. You can just follow the bodies. Oh, I see. I see where I need to go. Full body wiggles. Let's go. Some ear wiggles too. Emily, hello. Welcome on in.
Gamers Owen! Zoen, thank you so much for the raid! Holy heck, how is my favorite gaming mouse? How was your stream tonight? Tell me all about it. How was Armello? Let's go. Armello's a good game. Tell me all about it, but first, make sure you get your self-care stuff going on. Uh, get yourself a heckin', uh... Did he just get caught again? No, he didn't. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Before you tell me all about it, though, make sure you get your self-care stuff going on. Get yourself a drinky and a snack. Blanket and get cozy. And welcome, Raiders. Uh, my name is Adi. I'm a transfer gamer from Oregon, and I mainly play RPG games. Tonight, we're heckin' playing Final Fantasy XIV. Zoan deserves a snack. Hell yeah. They went up there, and I can't. Okay. Um... I don't even know where he went. Pet pets, let's go. But folks, the uh, community here, we're all pretty chill, laid back. We're all friends. If that sounds like your jam, please feel free. Kick back, your, uh, kick back and relax. Enjoy the show. You can chat, you can lurk, you can do whatever you want to do. Just know that you're heckin' welcome here in your valley. Well, I can't, e I can't even see. I can't even see where the fuck he is. Oh, there he is. Fuck. God, what is he doing? We're supposed to be leaving. It's like the fucking dude, like, appears and disappears. There he is. Fuck. Let's go, butthead. He's trying to leave, yeah. I mean, it's just, it seems like he just changes directions a bunch. There we go, God. I think I, re I think I remember having a difficulty with that the last time too. Reinforcements. So, Zoen, thank you so much again for your for the raid. Hypra, it's nice to see you. Hello. It, it exploded. Hello, best name. Kagan, hello. Super good bean, and you get another pet pets. Thank you all for so much. Thank you so much for. I can uh, <laughs> free your patience while I was trying to make it through that. And Kagan, my favorite USB mouse. I hope you all are uh, having a good night tonight. Is Doggo going to the couch? Going to get a drink of water? Going into the other room. Okay, I see. Anger of Honu, chief of mighty Vondo, roils like blackest storm clouds. Offer netherlings to the white. Cloud sea swells and he comes.
The White! The White! Mighty Bismarck! Lord of the Mists! A flying whale? By the fury, it's a primal! We must away! I vaguely remember this. Bloody typical. All right, we're going in. Aye, aye, aye chief. chief. All aboard. You know, he's an Ish Guardian, and being a Dragoon can't be the sole reason for having mad hops, right? Archifon does not skip leg day. This is true. Uh, BRB, folks, I gotta check on one thing just super quick. I heard a noise from the other room. BRB. Oh, Furby, please. There, there we go. BRB. Alrighty, sorry about that, folks. I was just checking on the boy. 
Oh, what are you talking about? Sid is totally a dancer. Uh, let's see. Let's get the band back together, though. We got Lysander. We got Soret. We got Winslow. We got Fashimir. We got Vera. We got Poji. Oh, Poji's in the middle of the cinematic. I'll get you on in once I'm done with the cinematic. The gods only know what might have happened had we not been around to save you. No need for thanks, though. It's not as if you haven't done the same for us on a few previous occasions. All right, more than a few. Twas but blind chance that brought us together this time. In case you are wondering, the Holy See has petitioned the Ironworks for assistance with this creation of theirs, the Protector. Apparently, they just can't seem to get her flying. Anyway, I came to Camp Cloudtop to cast an eye over the ship, only to learn that you had arrived some few days before with an Ishgardian lordling in tow. Small world, I thought, just as, just as said lordling's manservant skittered into view, babbling about his master having been captured and you risking all to rescue him. The rest, they say, is history. Red Violet, hell yeah. Red Violet, welcome on in. Thank you so heckin' much for the raid. How was your heckin' stream tonight? How was Little Kitty Big City? How are you liking that so far? Red Violet, welcome on in. And welcome, raiders. My name is Adi. I'm a transfer gamer from Oregon. And I can't seem to get my own pet pets right. There we go. I mainly focus on RPG games. And tonight we're playing Final Fantasy XIV with a bunch of friendos. We're having a great time. This is our first... These are our first steps into Heavensward. It's been a blast. I beat it. It's cute. It's short. Very relaxing. Hell yeah. But y'all in my chat, go hack and follow Red Violet TV. Red Violet plays a lot of... Like, a lot of different games. Super chill and super funny. I, I Red Violet, I appreciate so, so much. Definitely go hack and follow and watch. It's it's on Game Pass if people can't swing it. Hell yeah. But I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself, Red Violet. Uh, make sure... Stream it's hard, though. Make sure you get your self-care stuff going on. You know, grab yourself some water and a snack and a blanket and get cozy. And they have a great voice, right? Hacking voice envy for sure. Red Violet's amazing. Right. Well, I hate to cut short our reunion, but I'm here on business after all. And the boys are already hard at work. Don't worry, old friend. We'll speak again soon, I promise. Ooh, I'm getting hungry. I like his coat. I love his whole outfit. I wish I could grab that. Or at least pieces of it. Let's see. Let's get Poji in on the deal. There we go. Perfect. Now, is there anybody I missed? I don't think so. Nearly level 59. Hell yeah, let's go. Oop, and I got another Furby. The whole thing is Mog Station. I bought it exclusively for the goggles. Hell yeah! Oh. I didn't for I didn't forget you. I didn't forget you, Vera. You're in there. Ah. Right. Very well, I admit it. It was an incredibly harrowing experience. I could very well have died. You know, me dead. On the other hand, by risking life and limb in the line of duty, I did succeed in uncovering the existence of a new primal, and that old girl is no small feat. Yes, Red Violet, it is. I have made an historic discovery, a fact even Lady Lenny will have no choice but to acknowledge. 
Yes, I am rather looking forward to basking in the sunshine of her praise. Speaking of which, isn't it time we made our triumphant return? He did jack shit, right? Yeah, he just peed his pants. That's all he did. I thought you said you liked this guy. He's kind of a dick. Um... I don't want to really reveal anything, but... Let me... Let me... Uh, yeah, I don't even want to give you that... Even that detail. <laughs> Speakant! Zoin. Good heckin' mouse. Here we go. Praise Helone, I feared the worst. What happened out there? A primal, are you sure? Yet, now that I think on it, this Bismarck is reminiscent of the White Whale of Vanu Legend, a massive creature said to swim in the Sea of Clouds. From what I have learned of comparable summonings, the presence of the Vanu's god would certainly explain the sudden change in their behavior toward the people of Camp Cloudtop. Yeah, go for it, Lysander. Oh, you mean to say they have fallen under the Primal's influence? I recall reading of such things in the documents provided by Master Alphano. Aren't we forgetting something important, Lady Lenny? A little recognition for the hero of the hour? A few choice expressions of gratitude, respect, admiration, and so on? If you have to ask for praise... Well, I'm sure Vera. I'm sure Vera wants to tank. But I think that it's probably going to be an eight-person anyway, right? So we could do two tanks. Why, yes, you are right. Of course, Mistress Squeegee deserves all that and more for having risked her life to rescue such an esteemed personage. Well, if there is not else to discuss, I would depart for Ishgard forthwith. The Holy See and the Temple Knights must be informed of this new threat without delay. But of course, Mr. Squeegee, you have done more than enough here. Pray return to Ishgard with Lord Archifon and give my warmest regards to the Count. So that's it then. No more forays into enemy territory? Very well, I can see my services are no longer needed. Take care, Lady Lenny. May our next meeting take place under more felicitous circumstances. It, it is a possibility. Uh, I might actually be able to go a little bit over too. So we'll, we'll give it our best shot. All's well that ends well, eh? To the airship landing, then, we can speak on the journey home. Violet, welcome on in. Nice to see you. Oh, 
let's see. I guess we just tell I guess we just teleport to Ishgard. Pelotort. Penetwerp. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Where are we supposed to go here? Parts of fall. In Ish 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 Ish, Ish Gord. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that thing. He's at the airship landing. Okay. I'm just being dumb. Don't mind me. Oh. What the fuck? Need to go to the pillars, right? But where's my quest at the pillars? Oh, there it is. I see. God. Squeak alarm. Hello. Welcome on in. <laughs> Mouse invasion. What? <laughs> Squeak. <laughs> we love poor, easily lost audience. Listen. I confess, I have always been rather fond of airship travel. The chill of the wind upon your face, the warmth of the blood pumping in your veins from the excitement. I find the whole experience indescribably invigorating. I missed another mouse invasion. Did somebody raid while I was, while I was BRB? Okay, there's Zoen. Okay, maybe I'm maybe I'm just maybe I'm being dumb. Or mayhap it is simply the joy of having cheated death yet again? Haha! <laughs> In any event I must make for the congregation and inform Sir Americk of all that has occurred. Amandalane should have returned to the manor by now. Why not go and see if he has recovered from his ordeal? Yeah, Zoan totally Zoan totally rated in, yeah. I saw that one. Vigil. I didn't see that. Oh, no worries. No worries. I think I think Ryu got it. Let me just make sure. Let me let me make sure that Zoan got the proper shout out. Yeah, Ryu, Ryu got the shout out. Now, nah, no worries. No worries, Andy. This is why we have multiple mods. Welcome, Mr. Squeegee. Shall I show you inside the manor? Please do. I'm getting mega, mega EP. Okay. Oh, it's you, Adi. Mm, gods, did we have to strike me so hard? Father, he he did not approve of how I handled matters at Camp Cloudtop. How I endangered the lives of others through my own. 
recklessness and incompetence. It's not easily play it's not easy playing the hero, is it? So, hmm. Well, I will pick this up. I will pick this up. Kind of wondering. Hmm. So, what do you think, Poji? If you're getting Mega EP, should we save? Should we save the next one for uh, for Friday? I don't want to tell you how to run your stream, but this does seem like a natural stopping point. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no worries, Poji. The thing is, like, you know, with 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 folks that are in the party that are that are constantly coming by, like every single stream, I kind of want to like. I want to I want to stay in sync with everybody. You know, so I think I think this is a good time. So let it, let us find a good bean. A good bean to wind down the night with. Let's see. Who do we got? J we rated last week. Contra 6 we rated last week. Let's see. <laughs> you know I'd love to keep going, but the sleep monster persists. Poji, that's valid, honestly. And I don't want to push you... I don't want to push you so far as to, like, you know... I don't want to be that mean, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be half zoned out from sleep uh, that I miss what's actually going on. That's valid. Ooh, that bean has been going for a long time. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Even longer. Sip, sip, bitch. You know what? I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to take a chance. So a friend of ours, a friend of ours who has... Thank you for the sippy. Thank you for the sippy, Gil. A friend of ours who is celebrating their 500 follower milestone is playing uh, some sort of card game right now. I don't know exactly what that is, but Shooter, Shooter Loot 8001 is playing a card game. And uh, I'm thinking about uh, thinking about visiting, but the, the only thing is they've been going. I've been, I'm uncomfortable. They've been going for ten hours. <laughs> it, no, it's not Bellatro. It is definitely not Bellatro. But I, I think I will wait until I will wait until next time when they're not when they're not when they haven't been going for ten hours. Jeez. 
Why does this have to be so difficult? Why do I have to be living on the West Coast? It it makes it it makes it so hard. It makes it so heckin' hard to pick somebody to raid because there's uh Hmm. What about this? How do you how do y'all feel about sucker for love date to die for? Paying Yakuza. I don't know. I don't know if Yakuza really vibes though. That's the thing. But if you could let me know their name, I will at least follow, and uh, we'll we'll look at them very, very, uh, very gleefully next time I'm looking for a target. Perfect. I appreciate it, Poji. But right now, right now, Serene Nalia, who is who is also heckin' rated us, uh, is playing Sucker for Love right now, and Sucker for Love is actually a really fun, cool game, and like you know, who doesn't love a goat mom? Right? An ancient goat mom. I sure as hell do. Let's let's go let's go visit and vibe, shall we? Mom of goats, yes. Alrighty, there we go. Serena Serena is a good bean. Super good bean, and also plays Final Fantasy XIV on occasion. Nabu, thank you so much for popping in. It was nice having you. But folks, please stick around for the raid. Serene is also a Final Fantasy XIV player, and I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that they will they decide to play with us at some point. But yeah, so the time is the time is ripe for me to uh, to wrap up and get my beauty sleep. Uh, the next time I'm going to be live is tomorrow night, 6 p.m. PST. We're going to be playing some Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and I can't wait to get back into that. I had to skip last week. So holy heck. Thank you all so much for another wonderful Final Fantasy XIV stream. This is amazing. Thank you, as always, for streaming and bringing us along. I, I don't know if I'm bringing anybody along. I love just getting together with you all and us doing this together. That is That is what I love the most. And thank y'all for Poji and Vera and Ryu and, you know, Faneer and Winslow and like everybody who joins us. I heckin appreciate it and love it. I am running out of time. Folks, take care. Uh, get all the sleep, eat all the foobs, uh, drink all the water, you know, just take care of yourselves and be well. And I will see you tomorrow night, 6 p.m. PST for some more Final Fantasy stuff. Alrighty, take care, folks. Have a good night. Bye bye.